The following episode may, and most likely does, contain spoilers, foul language, and clues as to the location of the lost city of Atlantis. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back, everyone, to uh, another episode of, um, uh, I guess, our Two Dicks Exposed ne- Two Dicks Exposed Network. To the universe of Two Dicks Exposed. The universe, yeah. The, yeah. Uh, the extended universe. The extended universe. Yes, there we go. Yes. The T-D-U-E-U. 2D... T- yes. Yeah. That makes sense. 2D-U-E-U. 2D-E-U-E-U. 2 d two d e u. Yes? European Union. Yes. Sure. There we go. Yes. We can't get <laughs> caught up on things like this, No, Mike. this is literally what we had our show. <laughs> <laughs> the worst part was we just spent 10 minutes figuring out what our name is, and we're like, let's keep it easy. It's yeah. not... Not Pat, not Mike. Yeah. So which, you know, that's who we're talking to exactly. right now. I'm so, not Mike. And this is not Pat. And, uh, yeah. D- so, if you listen to our first episode that, uh, you know, probably came out last week, but we just recorded 10 minutes ago, um, we talked about a little bit of everything. Uh, we hit... from uh, Literally, from My Hero Academia to why I like Wendy's food. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, it's been 10 minutes and we haven't published anything, and we still haven't been sponsored by Red Robin. I'm still Wendy's. sitting here, f- like, devoid of uh, sea salt of Wendy's all, fries. All french fries. I know, right? Come on, get, get on your uh, sponsorship there. It's only been 10 minutes, but I should have already gotten fries let's let's not get off the tracks here right. okay we we had our we had our it. coming of god moment we we know what we need to do now we can't talk about everything under the sun no you know what we do need to talk about what all of these young kids let me finish getting into anime and manga for the okay. first time yeah i mean everyone has to start somewhere uh for me uh my first like my first actual like that 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 uh that moment when like you're like in the desert and you finally f- come upon come upon a mirage you're like ah oh, was Yu Hakusho I did not know Pokemon or Dragon Ball was an anime it was Yu Hakusho that made me realize what anime was no kidding okay. yeah I read I watched all of Toonami didn't I was just like oh this is just fun cartoons and like something about Yu Hakusho ep- like episode one I was like this this is different something's on here well something's something, something's not right here but i like it see for me i watched like pokemon i watched digimon and yeah you know all that stuff but back then i did not know what anime was right. i was just like these are cartoons on just the wb and fox like fucking really this is just cartoons you know saturday morning cartoons like that's all it was i didn't know what anime was right and i didn't have cable so like i didn't know what you know it didn't fucking exist like anything was um so i was actually first exposed to anime when we went. I went over Anderson's house mm, once okay. again. You will meet Anderson. You will meet Anderson. He sadly. is like, I don't know, like a godly <laughs> figure of all things anime. He's a he, perfect human being. He has one facial hair for every anime that he has read, and this man has a luscious beard. Yeah, he does. Just wait till you see him. Yeah, he's yeah. perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> but yeah. Where's so what was your? What was your so I go over there, and it's like third grade. I have no idea what's going on, and all of a sudden he turns on dragon ball z mm. and i'm watching goku fight frieza like that was the first oh, episode of dragon up. ball z i saw was goku fighting frieza what, and i mean granted saying, you know or... it went 30 episodes so right no he, so he wasn't super saiyan yet so it was when he was charging the spirit bomb oh, okay, okay so okay, still yeah. kind of early on in the fight but you know i was like what is this and then it went to commercial and you know tom's walking out of the back room and he's like hey everyone you know thanks for watching we got you know awesome sailor moon coming up next and then gundam wing and like Ugh. like all of a sudden i'm just like what are these cartoons yeah, what is this what yeah. is this rock block of like cartoons going on right now and um so then kind of going past that you know Yu-Gi-Oh. obviously Yu-Gi-Oh came on that was like the biggest oh thing God. in the world start playing Yu-Gi-Oh cards um me and a bunch of my friends would meet this local card shop every mm. week and just start playing Yu-Gi-Oh. and of course they just have manga all over the walls and, you know, they have the weekly Shonen Jump. So I pick up Shonen Jump and immediately I'm just thrown into the world of Naruto and Bleach. Oh, and, dude. you know, like Dragon Ball Z is still being issued, I think. I don't know. We're going back 15 years here. But, you yeah. know, Shonen is what really broke me in. Shonen, yeah. If it wasn't for Shonen, I don't know if I would have ever really gotten into it. Like, again, I mean, Yu Hakusho was my first taste. Uh, obviously, same thing, Dragon Ball. Um you know, Yu-Gi-Oh. I remember like picking up a Shonen Jump when I was a kid when we were going like family vacations, and I remember like picking up like a volume of Shonen Jump, and like in it was a uh, 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 
there was a chapter of Yu-Gi-Oh. I I need to like actually read the Yu-Gi-Oh manga so I can under, like understand what was going on. But they oh, were it's like, a wild ride, man. Oh yeah, they were fighting with Yogos. So there I'm, is a whole dark series before yeah. like card games are even introduced. Yeah, where and, Yugi like straight up mercs people. Yeah, and like kills them like Shadow Realm. No, but, like, like lighting you on fire and blowing you up in like a cruise ship. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, <laughs> but I, my 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 only introduction to uh, Yu Gi Oh was what I saw on te- television. So I was like, what the? They're not even playing card games in this episode. Like, mm-hmm. what what other ones? Like Hunter Hunter, obviously, because it's. That's my bread and butter right there. Yep, never got into it, but respect it. Yeah, I. Mm, you've still never watched Yu Hawk Show? No. Yeah, no. You, um, I, what was it? You told me. I remember you telling me this. You were telling me there. Uh, it, it blew my mind because you were like, "Oh, yeah, he was doing this thing," and I was just like, <laughs> "What? That's not you." I was like, "Yeah, I, I think I finished season one." I was like, "It got to the point where I know he was like." You know, running around town trying to do like an errand. Yeah, so, yeah, you really, like, you were like, I finished season one when he was still trying to do the errand. I'm like, that's the first six episodes. Man. That's not even season one. It felt like a lifetime. <laughs> oh man. Uh, uh, but yeah, anyway, Shonen Jump. If it wasn't for Shonen Jump, I don't know if I really would have fallen. Like, I, I remember exactly where I was when I uh, I watched Naruto for the first time. Mm-hmm. It was the episode where. Um, Kakashi was like had to like run through everyone to attack Zabuza on the bridge. Dude, that's where I got in. Yeah, yeah. I was like, what the? F- what is this? This is awesome. Naruto's like in the ice thing, and he's being like uh, hit with all these ice needles. And Getting stuff. hit with the Haku spikes. Yeah, the spikes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, this is awesome. What Hottest is guy this? in that. Oh yeah, manga. yeah. Which one? Haku. Haku. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, I I I went home. I asked my I I. I well, I was already home because right, I was watching it on VHS. Uh, but I, yeah, I begged my parents for uh, a set of Naruto for for Christmas, and they got me the uh, first season uh, all the way up until like the end of the beginning of the the tuning the tuning exam. exams. Okay, yeah, and I was like, oh my god, what is this? And then that led to Bleach, um, and then there was the whole you know Naruto versus One Piece war back in the early two thousands, where if you mm-hmm. liked Naruto, you didn't like One Piece, but if you liked One Piece, you couldn't like Naruto. One thing we forgot to mention. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We should probably go into this. <laughs> Thank you, director. <laughs> Thank you. Our director has just made us aware that we did not warn anyone that a, we a, will be spoiling. giving you spoilers. Spoilers. So if you really love the spoilers that we tell you, read the official release. Yeah, so. Or the unofficial release, because they're usually farther. Yeah. Yeah. Luckily, yeah, yeah. I, I don't think we really gave any spoilers. Like, everything was the beginning no, no of the No spoilers yeah, yet, yeah. Um, unless, you know, Haku spikes. That's going to mean something. It's like, uh, the first 10 episodes. I'm yeah. sorry. That's not the entirety of Naruto. Naruto's 500 episodes long. Get Haku's over. actually a girl. Spoiler, oh, oh, yeah. spoiler, spoiler. <laughs> um, um, yeah, so, all right. So, we, we have all these new shonens out right now that are, like, the new generations of shonen. Mm-hmm. Um, so, we touched a couple on some of them last time. We had Jujutsu Kaisen. Yep. We talked about that one. Uh, uh, the movie Zero uh, came out, which was fabulous. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I was like, wait, what? Oh, wait, yeah. I saw that twice in theaters. Yeah. Uh, great thing about that is if you watch the anime and then you watch the movie, it makes sense. Makes sense. If you read the manga, it does not. Yeah, yeah. Which is the great thing about this world because depending on what you read or watch, it's a completely different storyline. So it is, like, yeah. It sometimes you can see the same characters living two different lives. It is like um, Full Metal Alchemist. Full Metal Alchemist. Full Metal Alchemist. But yeah, the Zero. I saw that. I saw that baby twice in theaters. I was lucky to like. Um, okay. We had we had multiple friends who hadn't even like seen it. They had to wait till Crunchyroll came out, and I was like, "Are you kidding me?" Like, mm-hmm. I we told you guys go see this in theaters. Um, I was lucky to see One Piece right in theaters. I was like, I'm not, I'm not missing out. I'm on not sleeping right. on that one, um, uh, dude. I saw superhero in theaters. DB Dragon Ball Super oh, yeah, superhero. Yeah, to watch that. So good. Yeah, so good. To all you fans out there, go watch it. I need, watch it right I, now. I, I need to check it out. I, I, I imagine it's gonna drop on Crunchyroll uh, probably in the next like two or three months now. And also, I mean, while we're talking about this, you guys live in the best world because you are coming into a universe. Where we had the big four back yeah. in the day, you know, we had uh, Naruto, we had Bleach, we had Dragon Ball Z, and we had One Piece. We had One Piece, yeah. and I mean, well, honestly, One Piece. So we stopped, still have One Piece. But One Piece. The is other still three here. ended and have now come back with like a whole new life. So you can still catch up on, you know, four hundred to seven hundred chapters of each of them, yeah, and then jump right into the new episodes airing right now. Yeah. So you know, like that's something that you're gonna have in common with your dad or your grandfather because. 
they aired back when they were young. Yeah, I mean, Naruto uh, has now Baruto, which is the story of... Uh, uh, oh, did you know there's an anime based around Baruto's dead? Like, that that was the joke. That was <laughs> yeah. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, God. <laughs> and now, uh, well, Bleach didn't come back. It's just finally ending, ending. the story. But, I mean, it, if you compare the uh, the original Bleach anime to the Bleach anime that's going on right now, it, it is night and day. They do not hide the, uh, the, the gore. Like... It is so fucking good. Like, if you haven't started, did you read? Did you read Bleach? I did. All right. So up until halfway through the Thousand Year War. Okay. Then I stopped. Have you uh, watched any of the new season? Uh, just walking by the way. It's, it's so fucking good. It is like like everyone that's talked to me has said I need to watch it, and I'm just so like I read it good. and it was horrible, and they were like, "Well, whatever you read wasn't right." Yeah, so no, I, I don't know how it correlates, but I, it's 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 being done good. Like, cause I, I was the same way. I read halfway through the uh, the Thousand Year Blood War, and I just dropped it. I was like, uh, okay. But something about like this animation and just the the storytelling they're doing for the new season, it's so fucking good. I'm hooked. I, I cannot wait till tomorrow morning so I can watch the next episode. Like, I'm literally like, can it be ten thirty tomorrow morning? Like, it's always I'm, nice when you have like a reason to wake up. Yeah, exactly. Like, I actually like, have like. Like, something, like, to actually get me up in the morning so I can watch it so I don't get spoilers throughout the day. Spoilers. Um, so, yeah. So, I mean, you got Demon Slayer Season 3 that's coming out. It gets weird is that I honestly forgot that Demon Slayer Season 2 came out. Like I And it was season, so good. It was so good. But my issue is that it was so short that I kind of, like, lumped it in with Season 1. And I just would like to make note that we consider Season 2, the one with the Ninja Boy and the Three Hot Wives, yes. not that stupid-ass train thing. No, 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 no. No, Mugen no. Train was stupid. I Mugen Train, the movie, should not have existed. No. I do, Except for our holy warrior. He was great. I do love my spoiler, boy. Spoiler, spoiler. love my boy. You know, Rengoku is best boy, mm-hmm. like, easily. Like, when we inevitably do our, our, our Christmas episode, I won't even joke about his position on the list. Like, that is just, like, a top tier. He's best boy. Best boy. Um, but Demon Slayer is good. Um, definitely like it's, it's weird. I, I find that the new shonens are more, more violent than those shonens that we grew up on. Yeah, I can see that. I, I, I was thinking about this the other day cause I actually, we had all of the old Dragon Ball Z VHS tapes, right. which those were like gen one. God, I, I actually, for I, you kids. I remember the one like, um, the, like if you had, yeah, the box, you collect like, them and the side dragon. of the box had the pictures. Yeah. It made a picture. Yeah. So we have all of those and we were pulling some of them out. And I was sitting there thinking, like, oh, man, that, that used to annoy me because the uncut and the regular had different pictures on the side. Mm. And then it hit me. Anime used to have uncut versions. Yeah. That, it, that's not a that, thing that, anymore. That, that, there was uncut versions of anime. The only they, they still It still does exist, but with, like, etchy stuff. But here's, like, the thing, though. I've uh, They have, like, on Crunchyroll where it's, like, you can watch the unedited and the edited ver like the unedited version of like 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 etchy things and like the edited version of etchy things Mm -hmm. and like you think like oh i'm gonna watch unedited version like i'm gonna see like like straight nip right you know like i'm I'm like yeah like i I clicked unedited i want to see nipple right (laughs) and it's like the unedited version uh the the beams of light that cover the 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 sensei like the the the, the most, tiny nipple parts. Yeah, it's yeah. like instead of like giant beams of light co- completely covering their boobs, it's like little little sparks of light over over where their nips will be. And I'm mm-hmm. just like, it's. Do you hear about the new thing that they're doing? I, I think it's in Japan. They're doing it. They want to cut down on the amount of blood that's in anime, so they've just painted all of the blood white. So now it just looks like all their characters are covered in semen. I thought that was a that was like a China thing. Like they were doing that for China. It could be China. Yeah, I, I, I know say, I, I saw something online, and I'm not a good I, reader. So I don't know if I could see like Japan being like, all right, we're just gonna cut back. Like no, it is China. China. We have just got confirmation that got China got, right. covers their characters in semen. That is, that is wild. That's worse. <laughs> um, so the um, yeah, yeah, Demon Slayer is violent. It's like not violent as fuck, but it's pretty uh-huh. violent. Um. You got uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. I'm trying to think because I've only I, I I watch. I don't read. I, reading it, it's definitely dark. Um, yeah. You get into the the season that's gonna be aired next season two. What season two is gonna be? Okay. It's a very dark storyline. Oh yeah, that I think is gonna completely throw people off. That good because the first one ends season with a, one. Yeah, because the first one ends with a baseball match. Yeah, season one is very happy go lucky, yeah. and season two is not. Oh, well, at all no because uh yeah i mean speaking alone uh season one 
there's the whole sequence where uh, Sukuna like rips out his like you actually see his heart. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, that's like we didn't get shit like that. Like no. Shonen is just like yes, thank you. Like, look, we get it. Like, you don't want to, you don't want your kids to like see like whatever. Fuck off, right? Like. Do you, you still have your happy go lucky like shonen jumps like that are reminiscent of like our our era? Um, uh, Undead Unluck was one. I didn't really remember much gore in that one. I never not finished a lot it. of gore yeah. considering the main character's like yeah thing is he's a zombie that can't die yeah and he just malt spoiler um <laughs> you know he's like Kenny from South Park like he just dies in every yeah, chapter okay, yeah but like the, there's no blood right it's. He just like he's fall. just devoid of it. He falls apart yeah. and then just like puts himself back together. Um, uh, you he's have like a Frankenstein man. Um, Doctor Stone, which uh, is just. I like, mean, it's. I think the only people murdered in Doctor Stone, spoiler, are stones. Yeah, uh, when the guy was breaking the stone things. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it. But I mean, it, granted, it, I haven't watched anything past season one, so. I read, I read almost all of it. Like I'm like on like probably the last two arcs. I just need to finish reading it. But I mean, look, it, it's. If the series starts out good and it ends, you know, blah blah, then like, yeah, it's fine. Like that, that's that's allowed. And Shonen, it is allowed. Fairy Tale did it. There was a bunch of like uh, happy go lucky moments in that series, and then there was a giant war that ended it. Um, because um, yeah, like even Naruto, like prob- Naruto and Bleach are probably the two more violent of the ones that we grew up on. And I think like there was a scene where like Naruto was impaled with a bunch of spikes on the bridge, like we were mentioning earlier. Right. Um, uh, Kakashi, he got. Gara you got know, impaled. Gara got impaled. Yeah. Lot, lots of in, impalation. Right. Um, you know, Vlad would be happy with that. Yeah. So, and uh, you know, there's the one that we don't like, which is My Hero Academia. Which actually, you know, what? Let's use that as a jumping off point to actually get into the purpose of this episode. Right. I mean, we have the Shonen website up right now. Yes. And we are going to run through some of the different Shonens that we are currently reading, and if we think they're worth it for you, and then. We also noticed there's about a thousand on here we have, we have never no, heard of. Never so heard of. we're going to judge it based solely on the title and the picture. So we'll, we'll get to that. Um, so starting off, I mean, my hero is right up at the top. Right at the top. Right at the top. Uh, six years ago, I guess, this was, thing came out. And yeah. this was, you know, we what we mentioned in the first episode was this was compared to, like, the Holy Three. Like, this was what was replacing Naruto, Bleach, and Dragon Ball Z. Um, you know, back then it was like them handing off the torch to this. Right. And if it came at the perfect time, cause it was right at the height of like the MCU also coming out. Yes. So like superheroes were, were huge. like a big thing. And that's what this was. I mean, it was just a world of superheroes. It was fun. It was happy. You know, like it was one of those mangas where it's like at the end of the day, everyone, all the, the good people won, the right. bad people lost, tr- like finally drawn it, lines. It, it was, uh, it was very. It was very like uh, they were trying to build their own MCU all at one time. They were trying right. to build like a Marvel a universe all at once. So they had like every. That was like part of the reason why I didn't really like it. Also at the same time, because you had like almost every chapter there was a new person with a new ability, and I'm like, am I supposed to know this person? Am I supposed right. to remember this person's ability? And is this going to come up later? Is this on the test? <laughs> like I need to know. Is this on the test, teacher? Like, I slept, and I don't know anyone in this arc. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Um. So that being but, said, uh, on. November 27th, chapter 374 drops. I know it's coming out, like it's coming to an end. It's, It definitely feels like it's in its final yeah. arc. Um, so if you start reading it now and you're only reading five chapters, you know, read a chapter a day, it'll probably be over by the time you're caught up. Yeah. Um, so what? that, you know, that's a bonus. And, uh, you know, I think it. I, I hate it because it is so popular. Yeah, it is definitely but, one of those ones where like it's popularity, like we like we said last time, is the reason why I just I can't right. stand it. Like I'm, if if I'm no one knew about this, about this would be a, a great one. Yeah, and you know I, I do suggest you read it. Also, it's, Hawk Boy. I see a lot of Hawk Boy, and I don't even like Hawk him. is great. Yeah, really. Yeah. I, I see him everywhere, and I'm like, I don't like you. So the the characters that you do tend to follow in this, yeah. they do have amazing character development. Okay, I can say that. Um, but to your point earlier. They've introduced so many characters at this point. Yeah, it's like and, who, who's who, right? And there's been a couple that, like, I think the the author was just trying to get like wow moments, and mm, you know, okay. killed them. I can believe that. So, like, there's that later on. So, you know, if you read this, just know it does not stay happy go lucky. 
Um, it becomes actually a rather does dark storyline. Does it do the the shonen trope? There's a war going on right now. Oh, there's always a war. There's always a war. There's if it's a if war. it's a shonen, there is a war. If it goes past like 200 episodes, there is a war. That is a shit. <laughs> you got your tournament or war. Mm-hmm. Like that, that that's it. It's got to have a tournament. It's got to have a war. Honestly, speaking of war, I I was going to hand it off to you, but I think this leads us right into Jujutsu Kaisen, oh, which yeah. is also currently in a war arc. Spoiler, spoiler, oh, yeah. spoiler, Wait, spoiler. I'm not reading that um, one yet. Yeah, so not Pat's not reading this yet. Um, but it's great. So that starts off with the main character. You know, he's just like a, you know, he's a funny, normal guy who accidentally eats a demon's finger and gains superpowers. So you're telling me that this story starts off with him getting fingered and that's how he gets superpowers? Yeah. All right, dope. Yeah. He gets fingered and then he gets beat off by a blind man. Oh, awesome. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, that is a gorgeous blind man and mm-hmm. I would not mind being And then there's this super ripped dude who just claps all the time oh, and all right. he talks about hot girls. Um, well, that's just the RIP. I don't know if he does or not. He probably does because I love it. <laughs> Before we spoil <laughs> anything, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, don't say anything. I don't know anything. <laughs> that's going to lead us on to our next happy go lucky uh, manga. And Mike, I'll hand this over to you because it's been in your bread and butter since you were four. Oh, are we talking about Hunter Hunter Hunter? We are talking about Hunter Hunter. We are talking about Hunter Hunter. Hunter Hunter. Is... And remember, keep this only like five minutes. All right, I'll, I'll, I will. I will be very short and sweet with this. I promise. Maybe um, Hunter Hunter is a great uh, shonen if you are interested in the Dragon Ball franchise um, because it's very, to me, reminiscent of Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball, not um, the Dragon Ball Z and beyond. It's a young boy who you're going to blow so many people's minds. It, oh yeah, the yeah, fact they, that they, they, they didn't know Dragon Ball. Existed. Dragon Ball existed, right? They're like, oh, I know Dragon Ball Super and I know Dragon Ball Kai. Look it up, you squeebs. <laughs> The um the story is pretty much about a uh, a kid who um grows up on this island, and he comes to find out that his dad, um like who has been missing his whole life, who he was told was dead, actually went off to become like this uh, thing called a hunter, and um he's like, wow, well, what is a hunter? I want to know what a hunter is. I want to figure out why this job is so prolific that my father would give up on his family life, um like to to be it so he goes off does the hunter exam blah blah blah, and the, pretty much the story is just a very 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 long game of hide and go seek with uh gone and his dad mm-hmm. um and it's a very it's a very great series um i would honestly say that there's a 2011 remake that came out and um it is one of those ones where i would recommend watching instead of reading because there are um, Tagashi, the creator of Hunter Hunter, suffers from crippling back issues where he goes months, even years, without doing any updates. And because of that, there are when he when he does write, he writes a lot. He has a lot of speech bubbles, and like reading every any chapter is like reading a whole book. So um, what the 2011 remake does is uh, the infamous Camarion arc, which is like rife with just a bunch of speech bubbles gets condensed a lot of the dialogue gets condensed down and it really explains the chimera ant art without like going way too into it um it's it is a fantastic series um i would recommend it um but i will warn you as a uh, a veteran for hunter hunter that you will be dealing with hiatuses and breaks because Tagashi has gone on record multiple times um just taking months to year breaks so like right now everyone's talking about how it's back like it's back he's right. writing and i'm just like he released a chapter this oh, year he released a chapter oh my god he's released three chapters in a row and i'm like yay i i've been through this rodeo a thousand times all right he's gonna be good for maybe five six months and then he's gonna go right back to not publishing anything for a month or a year like it's just what he does and i'm okay with that right like to me, the manga has an ending, so anything beyond where we're at right now is just extra story. So, in a sense, it has an ending. I I think it ends, but yeah, I mean, Hunter Hunter is easily my number one favorite um, um, anime of all time. I, I've uh, ninety nine and the two thousand eleven remake are both fantastic, and I've watched them hundreds of times. Um, what you were explaining that too, it made me realize like One Piece. Oh yeah, Luffy also yes abandoned on an island by his father and goes yeah. off on a journey to figure out who he is. There's that new one by the fairy tale guy who just keeps redrawing the same thing. It's the same thing. It's Rave Master. 
Yeah, yeah I'm going to say that, right? Yeah, it like, was Rave Master, then it was Fairy Tale. Blow, blow your minds, kids. Um, if producers, Eden Zero. Eden Zero. Eden Zero. Or if it you, could also be called 30 Minutes. If you're watching Eden Zero and you have heard of Fairy Tale and you're thinking to yourself, wow, it's, this looks like wow. Fairy Tale. Um, you're wrong. It uh, it actually looks like Rave Master. Do yourself a favor yourself and some, go just, back and just watch Rave, Rave Master. Rave Master is better. <laughs> it's the best. Yeah. It's, it's the definitely. best. It's going to make you feel things you didn't know you could feel. So Rave Master first. That, that that's the first boy. That's the first boy. That's the first boy. Mm-hmm. Um, so. Then Fairy Tale, but stop watching it like after the second time skip. The first time he just skip, gives up after that. Once the first time, like honestly, up until the first time skip, I thought it was great. And then there was the um, the tournament that happened like right after. I do kind of enjoyed like the, the tournament. I, I but do, but the then they f- jump like right into another time skip. And yeah. I'm like, what was the point of this? Yeah. Spoiler, 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 spoiler. Um. All right, jump um, on to the next one. Yeah, well, the next one. What do we got here? Um. Well, obviously we touched on Mashal. That's dropping this year. Yes, it's going to be amazing. Wait. Well, 2023, it's dropping. Um. I think that's worth listening to episode one just to hear our recap of what Mashal is. Mashal is fantastic. Mashal, Magic, and Muscles. Yes. Read it. Um, just quickly, it's Hogwarts meets Love One Punch Man. Man. Yeah. Um, there's a, a world of magic that everyone lives in. If you don't have magic, you are actually like killed. It's like if it's like if Voldemort took over. If yeah, Voldemort, it, if Voldemort yeah, actually succeeded, it, it's it, but um, but uh, Saitama was there. Yeah. Like if Voldemort won, but Arnold Schwarzenegger was trapped in the forest. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know, he, he goes to school and he's like, "Come with me if you want to live." And then Straight you know, up. he uses muscle magic. Like at one point, like he he uses earth magic, air quote, air quote, air. where he just stomps on the ground <laughs> and rocks pop up and he chucks them at people. Like it's just hilarious shit like that, dude. I now need now that you said that I need a Mashal slash Toff crossover oh my god i need mash and Ma- uh toff to meet like I-, I would love to see them two just meet they would be best friends oh they would be the best toff um, uh from avatar if you are not aware um yeah uh you got spy family that's going on right now um, yeah definitely worth the watch anime is so beautiful it's god i love it so much it's anya is the most adorable thing in the world she makes my heart melt every time she's on there and when she gets like sad i'm just like i love you so much you're so precious do not let her fool you do not have kids no 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 they they are not like that spy family is definitely like like that giant um uh what's what's the word i'm looking for brainwashing uh uh propaganda Propaganda. it's a a propaganda machine for having me oh my god wait what what if Spy Family is like Japan's way of like uh, I don't think they have combating the with... repopulation issue? Well, maybe. Maybe that's it. <laughs> they make like the most beautiful child. The number ever. one name in the world next year is going to be Anya. Yeah, like next um, year, everyone in Japan, like all the newborn babies are going to be called Anya. If that is a thing, the, we know the reason why. We now. called it right here. We called well, it not right Pat, here. Not Mike. Um, um, but quick recap of what that is. Uh, you have a guy named Lloyd who yeah. is a secret agent. Think like James Bond. He has to go undercover to. Uh, I don't even remember. It's stop. the main storyline. I just don't give a fuck. It's about. a it's a retelling um, of the um the the east uh, the or east and west Germany. Okay, so and, for all you kids who don't know what east and west Germany is, it's Germany. Yeah, the, yeah. They, they were split. Um, they were split. No, they're not. So anyway, you got James Bond who has to infiltrate, um, like a school, and to do that, he has to adopt a child to make it look like he has a family. In comes this girl named Anya who can read minds, which makes it fantastic. <laughs> so she knows right off the bat that her newfound dad is a James Bond esque person, You're a right. spy, super spy. Uh, you know, another episode goes by. Turns out he needs a wife as well, so he finds have this, that have to have that uh, that polar family. Got to have the polar family. You know, two and a half kids, everything. Um, he finds a lovely woman who is an assassin, and the best part about all this is no one knows who each other is except for little Anya who can read everyone's brains. Right. But the best part is that she has like this childlike wonder of like what a hitman is and what a uh, spy is. Mm-hmm. So when she thinks of like when her dad does something, it's based off the spy from the, this cartoon that she's watching. And same with her mom who is a, uh, an assassin. She thinks like the same thing. It's like all this cute stuff and it's, it's so precious. I love everything about it. Um, I would read it, watch it. Um, I'd, I'd watch it first, then read it. 
because the honestly animation... i'd watch it don't even read it yeah. save the excitement for yeah, the animation it, the animation is so good it's so beautiful um and then uh there's a couple more i'll, I'll touch a little bit on one that just ended um which is kagu sama love is war like i mentioned last time i i do like shoujo's i, I do love me some romantic comedies um, this one is about a, a poor kid. It's almost like a Rin High School host club, honestly, now that I'm saying it out loud, but not. Um, uh, it's about a, this this poor kid who goes to this academy called Shujin Academy, and um, he gets in with a recommendation because of his academic prowess. He becomes the number one student, and he becomes the president of the, uh, the student council. And um, the vice president is the number two student in the class who is this girl named uh, Kaguya. And she comes from like this wealthy, like heiress family. She's like the, the, the family like owns like almost every company in Japan. She's like the super elite, super rich. She's this almost super perfect girl who's like excels in everything. But for some reason she can't beat the president. And when it comes to like testing. Um, so the, it starts off with like, I like um, the, uh, the main main character is like, oh, I wouldn't mind dating Kaguya if she like admitted like that she confessed to me, right? And then Kaguya is like, well, he's poor and blah blah, but you know he's not that bad. If he confessed to me, I wouldn't mind dating him. And then you fast forward six months, and they're both like, why isn't he confessing? Like I I want I wouldn't mind dating him. He just needs to confess. So it becomes this giant game where they try to like like compete and make the other one confess by doing like little games and stuff like that. Like if, Oh, if I do this, it'll put him in the right mood and he'll feel like he has to confess to me. But yeah, it's, it's fantastic. The, the manga is done. Um, it ends, uh, it could have ended a little bit earlier. It has the, um, um, according to our one friend, I, I, I have yet to read it, Tokyo Revengers, but, um, it does end. It, it could have ended a little bit earlier, like Tokyo Revengers. If I'm gonna take uh, our Nachon's uh, voice, yeah, let's take a little five second step out here. Um, right. Spoiler, 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 spoiler. Tokyo Revengers just ended, and it literally ended with the exact same storyline that happened a hundred chapters ago. Okay, all right. Okay, I was gonna say I don't um, read it. So it's. Just it's aggravating. It, yeah, it's aggravating. I, so that extra, it was the extra hundred episodes just to re-end the way it ended. I, I don't even know, man. It was aggravating. Yeah, but let's let's get off that because you know, yeah, some people might enjoy that. And uh, I guess the last shonen that I really want to bring up right now, besides like the eighteen Naruto's side characters that <laughs> are getting their own stories, a thousand things. Oh yeah, uh, I'll, Dan, I'll Dan. To Dan. Dan. Yeah, Dan. To Dan. You need to read Dan to Dan. I. Read chapter one, and um, I, I agree with what everything he's about to say. I, I do need to read it. But so, yes. what this is about is these two high schoolers. Don't remember either of their names because it's not important. Um, but you got one kid who is obsessed with aliens. He is 100% convinced that they are real. You have a girl who is obsessed with spirits, 100% convinced that they are real. She even lives at a shrine with her grandmother who is like super hot. Super hot. Yeah, yeah I which that. is weird. Yeah. Um, and they get into an argument, so they're like, you know, fighting back and forth about whether spirits are real, whether aliens are real, so they make this agreement, and the guy says, all right, well, you go to this hilltop that is, you know, prone to having alien abductions, and the girl's like, fine, I'll do that if you go to this tunnel that's haunted. So they each go off to their respective places, and the girl ends up getting abducted by aliens, and the guy ends up getting attacked by uh, Turbo Granny, who is a ghost that inhabits this... um this tunnel and basically i mean the aliens unlock the girl's psychic powers Mm -hmm. turbo granny possesses this kid and it just leads to this ongoing flurry of i don't even know what's going to happen i mean godzilla's in the chapter like wait what oh yeah if that's not reason to freaking read it then i don't know what it is so give it a shot you won't be disappointed um okay you sold me i mean i was already 83 chapters out as of this week jump on it um and then chainsaw man that title explains itself it's a chainsaw man um so with that being said mike there's a bunch on here that i have not heard of there's a lot on here that i've never heard of and the first one that pops up is itchy goku's under control yeah it literally says new series this is like chapter chapter, chapter one, one just one dropped chapter i might actually check this out i might I- it looks interesting it does look interesting it's interesting uh, why harry potter has a mechanical arm 
Uh, yeah, dude, he does he, have a, he cross, a lightning, uh, bolt, a lightning bolt scar, doesn't he? Yeah, it is like it looks like Harry Potter and the um, freeze guy from um, uh, My Hero Academia. With, I can kind of see that. Yeah, it's like it's it's like if uh, uh, Edward Elric, um, Harry Potter, and uh, the freeze guy were all one character. That's what it looks like. Yes. If you read Undead Unlock, it has very similar art style. Yeah, the art that. does look like a lot um, like uh, Undead Love Unlock. And, you know, I won't say read it. I won't say don't read it. It was interesting while it kept my attention. But then it, I got a really bad translation of it. And, you know, it it, it happens. I should go back and finish it. Um, oh, Undead Unlock? Undead Unlock, yeah. yeah. I need to finish that. So, too. what I'm going to assume, based on this picture, is this very happy-go-lucky green-haired girl is a super scientist- um, oh, dude, I can believe that. And she is part of the Ratatouille family, <laughs> judging by how she is. Con- She's controlling. <laughs> She's riding this man We're just with a mechanical body. Blo- blo- <laughs> yep. He's probably a chef. We don't even know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, she is like holding onto his hair. Yeah, I didn't she's think, like, yeah, all right, like that. All right, cool. Yeah, maybe it is Ratatouille. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Ratatouille. So that's the girl's name, obviously. It's Ratatouille. And uh, we're just going to assume that Mecha Harry Potter is Ichigoku and he is under Ratatouille's control. Oh man! Um, yeah, I, I can believe this. This so, is I've, I, I don't, I'm not even going to read the synopsis. I'm just going to like no. Based it. on our synopsis, I yeah. think we should read this. It's definitely a read. Yeah, this is getting a ten out of ten on the it's not 10 bad, not Pike. Yeah. Like read you know, this manga. It's probably like the worst. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here, guys. It's the best. It's the, the best worst. one. It's the best one. You got uh, the Ichinosi family's deadly sins. Um, obviously we got Grandpa in the back there with a beer. Oh, what? So Yo. I think that might be his deadly sin. <laughs> it looks. It does actually look like it could be like the art style from uh, the Seven Deadly Sins. The very like puffy, like round faces that they use. It does, but it's also like very low quality, like kind of like I can just like, like a sketch comic. You know, it could also be Bakuman. Okay, not to be confused with Pokemon or Digimon. Yes, or Bakugan or Bakugan. Yeah, do not let it rip. I could. That's Beyblades. <laughs> <laughs> let it rip <laughs> it's not even close <laughs> you're close uh, um, um, but obviously so you have, the main character is that dude from Soul Eater oh, there is a dude from Soul Eater look at him yeah look at him um, oh wait shit that's a towel on dude. his head um, it looks like is that a towel? I don't I don't know. You guys, I got nothing on this. I got nothing on it's this. It's a family sitting at a table, and they're all reading comics, and the grandpa is just getting drunk as fuck for some reason. I mean, he has sake and a beer in front of him. That sounds like me if I have like a, a extended family, just me at the table drinking while like all the grandkids are just sitting around reading manga. I mean, that dude did his job right. I mean, And, rate, and with rate. that, guys, we're giving this a 0 out of 10. You do not want to grow up to be like Mike. Yeah, you don't want to be anything like me. So that's a couple that are coming out. Um, do you want to go into some more or I'd say one more. Let's pick one more weird one. All right. Um, what about Ginka and Gluna? Ginka and Gluna. Ginka and Gluna looks interesting. 12 chapters Ooh. out. Just okay. updated this week. Um, that does actually look interesting. It it's looks... like a cat ghost thing. Yeah, this actually does give like Soul Eater vibes. It does. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm picking up Soul Eater vibes on that Very one. Very Soul Eater yeah. vibes. Same kind of description or uh character design as it. Except you also have like Baymax. Yeah. Oh, that it's like a Baymax cat became a cat. Rogue. Yeah. Like a like a like a wanderer kind of guy. And I think she's a witch. She looks like a witch. It looks like she's wearing like a witch hat. Alright, I'm gonna Maybe. throw something crazy out there. Right. Amelia Earhart. Bruh. Is Baymax cat. Dude, yes. But when her <laughs> plane went down, she got isekai into a fantasy world. Where she became Baymax Cat and met her alternate version, Amelia Earhart. Dude, I, I dude, I would actually read that. Are you shipping <laughs> yeah, that? I, I would, yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> Based on that description. Based on that description. I think I would go with it. <laughs> 10 yeah. out of 10. 10 out of 10. Would read. All right. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Um, that's kind of what we're at right now with Shonen Jump. Like, Shonen Jump has... it. They, they actually have a good amount of bloody and gore nowadays, which I do respect. And uh, they still have the old, unique, fun, like, adventure, you know. Light, fluffy, hook you in. Yeah. Like, actually, um, something fun, just a palate cleanser after watching somebody get cut in half. Um, 
I guess that's our sign off, man. Yeah, we'll see you next week. Uh, do not go jumping in front of any cars. Yeah, do not Esekai, Esekai yourself. Esekai is not real. Um, is that not is real. our warning. Sadly, will, not true. You will read a lot of them. Do not believe the hype. No. It there, there are a lot of good Esekais I have been hit there. by a car, and I am still living in this horrible world. <laughs> it wasn't a truck. That was, <laughs> that was my issue. Sorry, th- th- don't, don't go jump in front of a truck either. <laughs> <laughs> All right, kids, and with that, we will see you next week. See you next week, guys. I am not Mike. I am not Pat. Adios. Adios.